The Finance Committee voted six to zero to recommend favorable action to fund this item. Um, it's a $64,000 transfer from free cash uh, to the library, um, to the library uh, salary um, line up. There was $50,000 initially turned back um, by the library uh, department um, as part of the as part of the turn turnbacks, 10% um, cut, which was per time manager board request. Um, basically, every department, so the library had given that back originally. Um, interestingly enough, uh, as we know, the state library commission um, accreditates our library. It's, it's important for us to be able to take advantage of uh, book borrowing and other other great services from the sales library network. Um, and there's a formula called MAR, Municipal Appropriation Requirement, that Mr. Ward walked us through. Uh, and essentially, you know, long story short, uh, the budget cut basically was too much of a cut. It put us um, kind of above that, uh, the thresholds that uh, would allow for accreditation. Um, the only part of this that sort of sticks with me particularly um, is, uh, you know, the money's not necessarily needed, um, for the, but it really we're putting it there for any use this, this year. It's really just being held to make sure that uh, we check a box with the state um, and then we can maintain our accreditation. Uh, so Mr. Ward, to that to that effect, had, had indicated that he was going to be able to return the vast majority of that money back to free cash in next year's budget. Um, so again, it's not the most efficient use of our of our of our dollars as a town, um, but we are checking the box as the state mandates um, and maintaining our accreditation. So for that reason, despite the inefficiency of the use of the funds, we are we voted to approve it six to zero. Uh, Council President, through you, I, I believe that. This is a, a, a measure that North Attleboro can take pride in, and in the fact that we have a library system that doesn't require a waiver. Uh, and we have a great uh, librarian. Uh, Mr. Ward does an outstanding job and represents the community well. Uh, and I believe that your support in this measure uh, goes to make uh, the, that library a key and critical part of our, the fabric of our community. And I'd ask for your support on this measure. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. All I'd just say is uh, after uh, having seen a lot of years of the library kind of being on the brink of all kinds of just nasty times um, and not always being able to have the money to support uh, their needs, um, I'm, I'm very supportive of this and I understand it is checking a box with the state, but I'll just say that the library has done just wonderful things for a lot of residents of this town. And I just couldn't imagine our town without having a library working at its fullest capacity. So uh, I'm hopeful for council support. Thank you. I make a motion that we uh, pass 2021-025. Um, Second. Or, okay, I was just gonna say for the amount, the amount of, um, $64,299 to be uh, transferred from free cash. Mr. Pari votes yes. I keep a point vote yes. So that's 9-0 approving measure 2021-025.